Welcome to Getting the Most from your GoToWebinar. This short video is intended to help you get the most out of a GoToWebinar session. In it, we'll cover some important aspects of the webinar experience, such as webinar participation, how to set up your computer's audio so that you can hear the session, and finally, we'll go over how to apply for your CE credits. So let's get started. First, access the webinar using the link that was included in your invitation email. Your attendance during the webinar is being tracked automatically through the link that was sent to you. You must be in attendance during the entire webinar. Please note that GoToWebinar is aware of your attentiveness and participation during the session, so please feel free to participate. A special note for group viewing, if you are watching with a group, you must also open the webinar link on your computer using the link sent to you from GoToWebinar. This will track your attendance. Your microphone is defaulted to mute, as you will not be talking during the webinar today. If you have a question, ask it. Don't wait. Type the question in the GoToWebinar panel question box. All questions are viewable by all participants in the webinar, so don't use the question box in the webinar panel as a chat box. This is expressly used for the questions relevant to the webinar. Any technical assistance calls must be directed to your local education service center please do not call the presenter. If you are unable to get connected to the webinar, try shutting your computer down and restarting to connect. If you're still not connected, you may want to plug into your local area network using an Ethernet cable rather than using your wireless network. If you have tried all of these attempts to connect, you may be experiencing an issue with your district's firewall. If so, contact your district's IT department. Region 10 cannot be responsible for your district's firewall issues. If all else fails and you still cannot hear the audio using your computer, you can also use the telephone option. If you select the telephone audio option, please note that the number is not a toll-free call and you may be charged for a long-distance call depending upon your provider's plan. You will need the Tisha CE course code for this webinar when you apply for your CE credits. We will give you today's course code at the end of the webinar and be prepared to write it down. You must apply for your CEs online at TISHA as soon as possible. Members and non-members can receive TISHA CE credits at no charge for these ESC webinars. Apply for your TISHA CE credits at their website, txsha.org. Should you need additional assistance after the webinar, please contact your local service center. Now let's check your computer's audio settings. In the lower right-hand corner of your desktop, does your computer's audio icon look like this? If not, then your audio is good to go. If it looks like this, then your computer's audio is muted. So right-click this icon, click the box to unmute, make sure the volume is up and your speakers are turned on. Your audio control panel should look something like this. If you are still having audio problems, it may be a setting in the GoToWebinar application. Click on the GoToWebinar audio icon, then click on Audio Setup. Check to see if your audio is muted. Click the mute box to unmute the audio, and click the play sound button to test the audio. Remember, you will not be talking in the webinar today, so your microphone is muted. Finally, let's look at applying for your Tisha CE credits. Members and non-members can obtain their Tisha credits online at no charge. To obtain your Tisha credits, just follow the directions on their website. The screen containing the webinar's title and course code will look something like this. Write down the title and course code when this screen appears at the end of your webinar, as you will need it to apply for your Tisha CE credits. That's it. Thank you for viewing this short tutorial. If you have any webinar-related questions, please contact your local Education Service Center. If you have any additional Tisha-related questions, please contact Tisha directly.